I, I don't know the exact numbers, but um, 1,500 points, uh, which is, I think we said, what, top five in scoring, close to that. Uh, top three in assists. Um, you know, last year, first team all conference on one of the best regular seasons they've had in a long, long time. And uh, he was certainly uh, a major, major part of that. A captain, um, you know, has dealt with adversity um, in a great way, hasn't run from it, which a lot of young people do. Um, never had a day where he didn't practice hard. You know, that, that's the thing, more than all the other stuff that I've always loved about him, is very, very business-like in his approach, um, just on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, so we're gonna miss that. As a head coach, he was your first ever recruit, the first guy that you've coached all four years as a head coach. What, what is your relationship with him like? It's great. Uh, you know, it, I've had obviously previous uh, senior days and, um, you know, not that they don't mean a lot before, but like your first one, you're only with a kid a year. Um, so yeah, I mean, to go through a recruitment process and then four years with a guy, um, you know, you build uh, quite a relationship through highs and lows. And, um, you know, the one thing about Nate that I've always had is um, we've had a great relationship. We're on the same page. His parents are on the same page with us and what we're trying to do. And, and when you have that normally, um, good things happen. Uh, you know, so I'm very, very appreciative of Nate, his family, um, just allowing us to coach him and being on our team uh, through thick and thin. Do you have an update on the status for tomorrow? Uh, no, I, I don't know. We'll see here shortly. Obviously, with, with um, the, the way the game ended for him, um, you look back on it, did he? I mean, did you say anything to him in particular? I mean, he had to have been pretty devastated the way. Yeah, the I mean, you know, you know, it is what it is. The last play uh, clearly got fouled, um, but we had a lot of opportunities uh, where we made a lot of mistakes. You know, so refs are never going to be perfect. Um, everybody does their best, and um, you know, you kind of go from there. But you know, you look back at some of the mistakes that we made. We had our opportunities, um, you know, Bakari fouling at the free throw line inexplicably, um, no free throw block out, uh, not fouling Hap, but we said to foul Hap uh, were certainly some big mistakes uh, that we didn't execute down the stretch. Uh, so regardless of, you know, that last play, uh, we still had opportunities to win the game, um, you know, so it is what it is, move on.